What are some ridiculous history facts? In 1895, the entire state of Ohio had only two cars. Both cars managed to still smash into each other. The first known political cartoon is Egyptian, and shows Hatshepsut, the only woman pharaoh, pegging her lover and chief architect Senmute. Abraham Lincoln's son, Robert Todd Lincoln, was present at three different presidential assassinations. After McKinley, he decided not to accept any more invitations. 101 years ago a massive tank of mollusks burst open in Boston, causing a sticky wave that killed 21 people and injured well over 100. The Great Mollusks flood spread at about 35 miles per hour. When Alexander the Great was a child he was reprimanded by a teacher for wastefully throwing two whole fistfuls of rare incense into a sacrificial fire. When he was an adult and captured Gaza, which happened to be the prime agricultural source of the incense he wasted, he sent home 18 tons of it home to the same teacher as a gift. The entire country of Malta was awarded the George Cross for its efforts in World War II, it's still on their flag. Karl Marx's great-great grandson has a YouTube video of him doing parkour, called exclamation marks. Former US President Andrew Jackson was approached by a man who pulled a gun on him. Smaller history fact this was the first assassination attempt on a US president. The man pulled the trigger and the cap went off but the gunpowder failed to light. The man pulled a second gun and fired. But the gunpowder again failed to light. The assassin tried to get away, but not before Andrew Jackson got him and beat the sit out of him with a cane. Potatoes were not very popular as a food in France, like they were seen as fit only for animals. Not only that but they were considered generally not digestible by humans, so a pharmacist named Parmentier knew they were good food and wanted to popularize them among the working class. So he got a two-acre farm to grow potatoes and placed armed guards around it at all times. People assumed armed guards meant something very valuable was growing there so they began to steal the potatoes. That's how potatoes became popular in France's working class. During the Cold War, there was an idea to drop XL condoms labeled medium onto the Soviets to make them think we were anatomically superior and be more afraid of fighting us. Easily my favorite part of American history. American military members were also killed during the nuclear bombings of Japan. When American high command was informed of their presence their response was something like, targets remain unchanged. Pepsi once had the sixth largest military in the world after the price of Russian vodka couldn't cover their deal for Pepsi products. So they traded 17 submarines, a frigate, a cruiser, and a destroyer for a trade deal. Fun fact. The president of PepsiCo at the time told the National Security Advisor, We are disarming the USSR faster than you are. Hitler, Stalin, Trotsky, Freud, and Tito were all living in the same area of Vienna in 1913. General Omar Bradley was stopped by MP during the Battle of the Bulge in WW2 due to them thinking he was a Nazi infiltrator. The irony was that he was stopped because he correctly identified the capital of Illinois as Springfield when the officer thought it was Chicago. Montenegro technically was in war with Japan for 101 years and they signed a peace treaty in 2006. Montenegro was aligned with Russia in Russo-Japanese war and they declared war on Japan but they forgot to peace. In 1967 Australian Prime Minister Harold Holt disappeared while swimming in the ocean. He was presumed drowned, so naturally that year we named a swim center after him in memoriam. Edit. Added his name. Which I meant to do when I wrote the post but obviously my brain snapped midway through the sentence and I forgot it. Once FDR died. Truman didn't know about the Manhattan Project, but when he found out he subtly tried to tell Stalin they were working on something big. Stalin was like, yeah dude, I knew before you did, since he had so many spies in America. Henry Cavendish, the man who was vital in the discovery of gases and discovered hydrogen, he inherited a ton of money from his uncle, and built a special castle, I think. He was incredibly introverted, so it was designed so that he never had to meet or see any of his servants. He communicated with them through notes only. He did, however, appreciate other scientists coming to visit and talk. His works mostly came after his death of course, but I found this guy interesting. Hannibal's defeat of the Romans at Lago Trasimeno, by leaving soldiers to light fires in the hills, he created the illusion that his army was three days, march away, when tens of thousands of men were actually concealed in the hills just above the lake. The Romans were surprised on the shore and trapped between the onslaught and the water. In their armor, half of the 30,000 Roman troops were either killed in battle or drowned in the lake. 
5,000 were captured and the other 10, 000 staggered back to Rome creating panic that the greatest army in the world had just been handed their ass by a Carthaginian upstart. It was the greatest ambush in military history. The capture of the Dutch fleet at Den Elder on the night of 23 January 1795 presents a rare occurrence of a naval battle between warships and cavalry, in which a French revolutionary Hussar regiment captured a Dutch Republican fleet frozen at anchor between the three kilometers. 1. 9 miles, stretch of sea that separates the mainland port of Den Elder and the island of Texel. After a charge across the frozen Zuiderzee, the French cavalry captured 14 Dutch ships and 850 guns. A capture of ships by horsemen is an extremely rare feat in military history. N. Wikipedia. Org. Wiki. Capture of the Dutch fleet at Den Elder. In ancient Egypt, servants were smeared with honey to attract flies away from the pharaoh. The state of Washington was named Washington instead of Columbia so that it wouldn't be confused with the District of Columbia, as it was commonly known at the time. There used to be bread stamps, burned into a cooked loaf of bread, to avoid bread fraud, as the government supplied the wheat flour, but some bakers tried to use sawdust and other ingredients in the bread to make the wheat last longer. The bread stamps were baker-specific, so they could track down where any tainted bread came from. If they were caught, they had to move to another town to make bread, or wait three years to continue making bread if I remember correctly. Colombia has a period in history literally called the dumb homeland, period because of how incredibly dumb politicians acted at the time. Before Abraham Lincoln became a politician, he was a champion wrestler, with more than 300 bouts under his belt. Lincoln only lost one match in his career and was inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1992. Herostratus is the guy who burned down the Temple of Artemis. The only reason he did it was to have his name written down in history. At one time there was not only a pope and an anti-pope but also a counter-anti-pope. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on the same day, July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of them both signing the Declaration of Independence. Adams's last words were, Thomas Jefferson survives. He was wrong by about five hours. The first bomb dropped on Berlin by the British during WW2 claimed no human casualties, but it did kill an elephant. Pythagoras drowned a student to death because the student proved the existence of irrational numbers which contradicted Pythagoras and his cults, the Brotherhood, beliefs. The Battle of Bull Run, during the American Civil War, was called, the Picnic Battle, because so many civilians from Washington went on picnics on the sidelines and watched. But once the battle actually started, and the Union started to get its ass kicked, they all ran away, running over injured soldiers and dead bodies and generally disrupting the battle. This was actually a relatively common thing during the Civil War. I know it happened at Gettysburg too. Claudius Drusus died in AD 20 from asphyxiation when he tossed a pear in the air and caught it in his mouth. The pear tree was put on trial, found guilty of murder, and destroyed. When the Romans laid siege to the Missera, a real place weirdly enough, they attempted to tunnel into the city, though the Missurans released bears into the tunnels. Ancient Greek and Roman marble statues were actually originally painted and were colorful. A lot of the statues, paint faded away and went away over time. Some people cleaned off the paint thinking it was debris or dirt, and other people just plain cleaned and removed all of the paint off of them because they preferred the look of white marble. Rome was actually a very colorful city and it wasn't all made of just boring plain white marble. There are literally entire books of anecdotes of this sort on Ben Franklin. That man was the og of trolling. He was so good at trolling under the pen name of a female. Silence do good. He received several marriage proposals. Only then did he reveal her true identity. As St. Lawrence was roasted to death on a gridiron, he is said to have remarked to his torturers, I am cooked on this side, turn me over. St. Lawrence is the patron saint of cooks and comedians. The Pastry War. A French pastry chef who lived in the outskirts of Mexico City wrote a letter of complaint to King Louis-Philippe claiming that in 1832 the Mexican army damaged his shop and stole several cakes, for which he was demanding 60,000 pesos from the Mexican government who ignored the request. After this incident, King Louis-Philippe decided to block all ports of entry in the Gulf of Mexico which later on led to the French invasion of Veracruz. 1927 Liberian elections were referred to as, the most rigged ever by Francis Johnson Morris, a modern head of the country's National Elections Commission, and also made it into the Guinness Book of Records as the most fraudulent election ever reported in history. 
as despite there being fewer than 15. 000 registered voters, King received around 243. 000 votes, compared to 9. 000 for Faulkner. The death of Cato. He killed himself by ripping out his internal organs one by one. The shortest war occurred between Zanzibar and the British Empire, lasting around 45 minutes. The Battle for Castle Itter, a castle in Austria where the Wehrmacht and Americans fought side by side with French POWs against the SS. Seriously, someone should make a movie about this. Geographics has a fantastic video on it. Edit. You, Tactical Toast 7 wrote a much more in-depth explanation of the story. Go check it out. The British once sent a guy to China as a spy so he would uncover the secrets of making tea. When the Netherlands was occupied by RHE Nazis in 1940 many people fled to Canada, including Princess Juliana of the Netherlands sent her husband Prince Bernhard of Lippe Biesterfeld, their daughter. Princess Margriet was born in Ottawa, not knowing if the baby would be male, and hence the heir to the throne. Canada declared the maternity ward of the Ottawa Hospital extraterritorial, which means it became international territory. This meant that the baby would derive its nationality only from its mother, making it 100% Dutch. It is told, by Herodotus, that when Xerxes invaded Greece he had to build pontoon bridges, which were destroyed by a storm before completion. Xerxes was so upset at what happened that he had every engineer beheaded and sent soldiers down to whip the sea 300 times for its failure to obey him and comply with his plans. During WW2 a bunch of German soldiers got separated in rural Russia. They were trudging through snow with no food or water for days before finally finding a supply drop that missed its mark. They opened it up and found only black pepper and condoms edit. For anyone wondering my source for this is Storm of War by Andrew Roberts. Unfortunately I can't remember the page number because I read the book a few years ago but I believe the chapter is called, Clash of the Titans. I'm sorry I don't have a more exact source but I'm a random commenter, not a history teacher. Ancient Romans would put sandals on the hands of sleeping people then tickle their face so they would slap themselves. The longest ever U.S. presidential inauguration speech was made by William Henry Harrison on March 4, 1841. The day had terrible weather, yet Harrison chose to deliver his speech nonetheless, running 8,445 words. In fact the speech was so long, and the weather so terrible, that Harrison caught pneumonia and died on April 4, making him the shortest reigning U.S. president ever. During the most critical portion of World War II, the Japanese thought they had sunk or disabled three American carriers when, in reality, they had only bombed the USS Yorktown three times. They were caught with their pants down when the bombs started landing at Midway. In 1714, a Norwegian captain and an English captain had a 14-hour long ship fight. Afterwards, both ships were badly damaged and the Norwegian captain was running out of ammo. He sent an envoy to the English ship, asking if he could borrow some of their ammo. They said no. The Olympics used to award medals for art pieces. Famous sculptors of the time would display their sculptures for prizes. Harry S. Truman was a senator for 10 years, then became the vice president on January 20, 1945. 82 days later, April 12, he was sworn in as president and soon briefed on the Manhattan Project. Just 116 days later, on his orders, the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. In less than 200 days he went from senator to VP, to President, and authorized the first use of nuclear weapons. Stalin used to take people on the side to have some drinks with them or invite them to join him for a vacation in his holiday home. Khrushchev wrote about how much he hated those drinking breaks and vacations. Of course Stalin would try to get you drunk and get info from you, and could decide he wants to kill you during the vacation, but you can't really decline his invitation. Khrushchev would also try to subtly get Stalin drunk as well and get info from him. One time during a vacation with Stalin, Stalin asked him to dance a Ukrainian folk dance in front of a bunch of people. Khrushchev hated dancing, but he had to do it. In the American colonies, lobster was considered a low-class food and was normally only fed to prisoners and slaves. In 1961, a B-52 bomber carrying two nuclear bombs suffered a refueling accident in the air, dropping two thermonuclear devices on North Carolina. During recovery, it was discovered that three of the four safety switches had been set to arm the device. If not for the fourth remaining in safe, there would have been a significant nuclear detonation. At US President Andrew Jackson's funeral in 1845, his pet parrot had to be removed because it was swearing. US sailors sunk a Japanese sub in WW2 using potatoes, 
Knowledge glue. Com. Amazing WW2 us sailors sunk Japanese sub potatoes. The Spartans never built a city wall, figuring that their reputation alone would mean no one would dare attack them. But, during the Persian War, the Persians, who had already burned Athens twice, hired a Greek guide to take them to Sparta. But when they got there, they saw a kinda crap looking city without even a wall. They figured there was no way this place could be the mighty Sparta they had heard so much about. So they figured the Greek was lying and thus Sparta was spared. Edit. I'm remembering this from reading it in the book Persian Fire by Tom Holland. It's quite possible that I'm misremembering details or that Holland's text identifies this as a legend or story. Still, the book is a fantastic read and I heartily recommend it. Hitler's number three in command. Rudolf Hess ditched his two-seater BF-110 fighter plane over Scotland and parachuted into enemy territory in order to try and negotiate peace behind Hitler's back. Hess maintained his course using paper maps and landmarks. While avoiding both German and British air defenses, he parachuted onto a field on which a farmer was plowing his land. The farmer, not recognizing Hess, took him into his home and offered him some tea. The Byzantine Empire, last remnant of the Roman Empire, fell in 1453. Just 40 years before Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue, the Roman Empire lived at the same time as the Macedonian Empire and its successors, and continued to live at the same time as the Aztecs and Inca. In 1838 the French army attack Mexico because a cake maker demands to government pay some damages. It's called, the Pastry War, n, Wikipedia, or, Wiki, Pastry War. A very high-ranking Nazi, Ernst R.H.M., was gay was killed 1934, and Hitler knew about it, but it didn't bother him. Funny how homosexuals were then put in concentration camps. A Chinese emperor escaped an assassin by running around a pillar. After two hours, the assassin got bored and went home, and wasn't charged for his crimes. Operation Acoustic Kitty, a US government-funded operation to train domestic cats to be equipped with audio devices to spy on opposing threats. The first mission, two million dollars later, the cat crossed the street and was hit by a car. They cancelled it thereafter. N. Wikipedia. Org. Wiki. Acoustic Kitty. Edit. Thanks for the love on this comment. I know my paraphrasing didn't fully do this story justice. By the time the can opener was invented, the can and the process of canning goods had already been around for almost 100 years. Emperor Caligula of Rome declared war on Neptune. He had his troops randomly throw spears into the sea and collect seashells as war trophies. Operation Mincemeat was a successful British deception operation of the Second World War to disguise the 1943 Allied invasion of Sicily. Two members of British intelligence obtained the body of Glyndur Michael, a tramp who died from eating rat poison, dressed him as an officer of the Royal Marine Sand placed personal items on him identifying him as the fictitious Captain William Martin. Correspondence between two British generals which suggested that the Allies planned to invade Greece and Sardinia with Sicily as merely the target of a feint, was also placed on the body. The body was then placed overboard of a ship, washed up and was found by German intelligence. It successfully diverted German forces away from Sicily. In 1994, a war almost broke out between Russia and Sweden because of fish farts from herrings. That's how they communicate, because Sweden heard the farts in their waters and they thought it was Russian submarines. When the Allies were invading Germany asterisk, General Eisenhower sent a message to General Patton telling him to go around Trier because it would take four divisions to capture. Patton sent him back a message saying, have taken Trier with two divisions. What do you want me to do, give it back? Edit equals derp I'm retarded. High level Nazi leader, Heinrich Himmler, was a chicken farmer before he joined the party. A few days before the Battle of Midway a Japanese scout in a zero has his wing damaged and was forced to make an emergency landing on a nearby island. The trees were too thick and he died in the landing from an injury, which meant he couldn't destroy his plane. American engineers recovered the plane and were able to reverse engineer it which gave US pilots a chance to run flight simulations with it, giving them a huge advantage in dogfights. Canada and Denmark have been playfully fighting for control of a tiny island near Greenland called Hans Island for decades. When the Danish visit, they leave a bottle of Danish schnapps liquor. When the Canadians visit, they take the schnapps and leave a bottle of Canadian club whiskey and a sign that says, Welcome to Canada. People were buried alive so often in the 19th century that a safety coffin was invented so the dead would have the ability to alert those above ground if they were still alive. There used to be a contraceptive fruit in Roman times, but the Romans ate them to extinction. The richest man in history was Mansa Musa, richer than an human or family in recent history. 
He was born into a line of rulers in Mali in the 1300s. As the emperor he acquired a vast kingdom rich in gold and other commodities. For his pilgrimage to Mecca he brung thousands of pounds of gold, handing it out along the way. His wealth and generosity destroyed the economy of almost every city he passed through. In Britain's first engagement of the First World War, the British killed 500 Germans in the first two minutes of the battle. Apparently, the British had several machine guns on the embankment of a river. The Germans were marching in formation across the river when the British ambushed them. The death toll was made worse by the fact that many of the German soldiers were conscripts who just followed their original orders to march forward. The sea between the Scandinavian countries used to freeze over. About 350 years ago the Swedish war king took his men and invaded Denmark by walking over on the ice. This obviously was a surprise. And Denmark lost about a third of its land. I assume this is why there is a law, that if a Swede walks over the ice to Denmark you have to hit then with a stick. But it's okay if Norwegians do it. King Charles VI of France believed he was made of glass and would shatter if touched. After Pearl Harbor, Canada declared war on Japan before the U.S. did. John Malcolm Thorpe Fleming Churchill is a British officer who fought in World War II with a longbow, bagpipes, and a Scottish broadsword. 3,000 Moroccan rebels defeated over 23,000 Spanish soldiers. N. M. Wikipedia. Org. Wiki. Battle of Annual. A Moroccan Sultan had over 1,000 children. N. M. Wikipedia. Org. Wiki. Ismail ibn Sharif. Edit. Some other facts. Tariq bin Ziyad was one of the main Berber generals who conquered Iberia. Spain plus Portugal. For the Umayyad Caliphate. When he arrived to Iberia with his army it is said that he ordered that the ships he arrived in be burnt. To prevent any cowardice. The nation of Gibraltar's name is derived from the Arabic. Romanized as Jabal Riq. Literally meaning Mount of Tariq. Ronald Reagan was a prolific lifeguard when younger. Saving 77 people from drowning. In 1766, sailors for the HMS Dolphin were holed up at Hawaii, where they learned local women would trade iron for six. Iron nails were used to hold the boards of the ship together. Eventually, the ship started falling apart in the harbor. After World War II, the US took the third nuclear core that was initially intended as a third nuclear bomb for Japan if they still didn't surrender and used it for testing. One of the experiments that the scientists tested was putting the core in two beryllium hemispheres and holding one of the hemispheres up using just a flathead screwdriver. The scientist that did this wore jeans, boots, and a frocking cowboy hat while doing this. Of course the scientist eventually ended up dropping the other hemisphere on the core and making the core go supercritical, later killing the scientist of acute radiation poisoning. One of the astronauts' poop was floating around on Apollo 10. You can find the full transcript here. The poop incident starts on page 416 if anyone want to read more. When Julius Caesar was in his mid-twenties, he was captured and held random ransom by pirates. Apparently he was insulted by the amount of random ransom they had asked for, not fully realizing who they had captured, and demanded they ask for more. Well, while people were off gathering the random ransom, Caesar basically told them while laughing and joking that after he was freed he was going to have them crucified, a particularly brutal execution, reserved for slaves and the like. They didn't believe him. So good old Caesar, not one to make empty threats, rounded them up and sent them off to execution via crucifixion. However, in the end, he showed mercy and had their throats slit, resulting in a much quicker less painful and exponentially faster death. In 1886, Liechtenstein sent out 80 men to participate in the Austro-Prussian War. They came back with 81 men. Pythagoras had a phobia of beans. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows about. Dracula. The man that it was inspired from was a Romanian ruler called Vlad Epe. So basically he had some conflicts with Turkey in one night. When the Turkish soldiers were chilling in a camp prepared to attack in the morning, Vlad told the Romanian soldiers to dress up like them and attack when they were sleeping. The Turkish soldiers were so confused that they started attacking each other and killed like half of the army. Then Vlad just left and let them fight. I think this is so genius and so dumb at the same time. The only Japanese passenger on the Titanic, Masabumi Hosono, survived the disaster, only to lose his job for, not dying honorably like the others. Sorry if this was already posted. During WW2 there was a pilot with no legs in the RAF. Harriet Tubman had brain surgery without anesthesia. One of the first successful air conditioning units was rigged up by Navy engineers and scientists in order to try to reduce the temperature in President James Garfield's room as he lay in a sick bed after being shot in New Jersey. 
Heroin was once a perfectly acceptable medicine. Doctors prescribed it for everything from coughs to headaches. Source. History Daily. Org. Weird Historical Facts. The word history comes from the ancient Greek. Historia. Meaning. Inquiry. Knowledge from inquiry. Or. Judge. A woman without a nose tried to kill Rasputin by stabbing him with a huge knife. He survived by having some intestines removed. This is one theory on why the cyanide didn't work. And later in his life when he talked about her he called her. The salute who stuck a knife up my ass. Not really ridiculous but interesting George Washington was infertile so anyone who claims to be a decedent of him is probably lying. Catholic priests during the Middle Ages believed that wet dreams were Lilith, Adam's og wife, later becoming Lucifer's wife, trying to copulate with them to spawn demons. As a solution, priests often slept with a cross over their nether regions to protect them from Lilith's advances. The Earl of Sandwich, John Montague, created the modern sandwich in the mid to late 1700s. He was a known gambler and didn't want to leave the table he was at for dinner so he had the servants put the meat between who piece of cut bread. Sorry on mobile if this has been said before. Edit. Forgot his name. Found it. In 1898, author Morgan Robertson wrote a novella titled The Wreck of the Titan, or Futility. The plot involved a fictional ocean liner, the Titan, which sinks in the North Atlantic after striking Annisburg. In the story, Titan was described as the biggest passenger ship in the world. It carried the minimum number of lifeboats allowed, resulting in a large number of her passengers and crew perishing. Fourteen years later, RMS Titanic sank in strikingly similar circumstances. Edinburgh. Scotland was at one point called the dirtiest city in Europe. Before indoor plumbing, people would dump their bedpans out the window. There was something they shouted to warn the people below but still, too many people were getting splashed so the city changed it so 10 p.m. was the designated time to empty bedpans. They had a bell go off and everything. But 10 p.m. also happened to be the time that the pubs closed. And that is where the term, sit faced drunk, came from. One of my favorites is the story of Tommy Fitzpatrick. In 1956 he stole a small plane from New Jersey for a bet and then landed it perfectly on the narrow street in front of the bar he had been drinking at in Manhattan. Two years later, he did it again after someone didn't believe he had done it the first time. What's also crazy is that the punishment for the first time ended up being only a $100 fine, since the charges were dropped by the owner of the plane, and the second resulted in only six months in jail. Here is an article about it. How frocking weird the marginalia in illuminated manuscripts were. These important books are celebrated for being beautiful, handmade works of art in a time when books were not very common. However, a lot of them had some really ridiculous sit in the margins. Here are just a few examples of what I mean. NSFW. Imager. Com. A. X6 Foos. I. Imager. Com. 99 ILHRX. JPG. I. Imager. Com. XFY2 NHA. JPG. I. Imager. Com. NDUXOF4. JPG. I. Imager. Com. 3QC2MBG. JPG.